In the United States, there are about a million people affected by Parkinson's disease. Many more are affected by Alzheimer's disease. There are people affected by ALS, Huntington's disease. These are all terrible degenerative diseases. And as our population is aging, the incidence and prevalence of these diseases is just going up like crazy. And we need to find something to either delay the onset of these diseases or slow the progression so that they uh, don't affect people before their natural lifespan. The University of Pittsburgh and UPMC created the PIND, the Pittsburgh Institute for Neurodegenerative Diseases. The PIND is a collection of individuals all interested in, in one common theme, which is why neurons die during disease. We have people from pharmacology, from structural biology. We have neuroanatomists, electrophysiologists, molecular biologists, neurochemists, behavioral investigators. Half of us are basic scientists, half of us are physician scientists. It takes all those kinds of expertise to get what the, the big picture is. And there's this constant urgency to take our findings to the clinic uh, and really translate our findings into something meaningful for people affected by these diseases. There's a lot of evidence that dysfunction of mitochondria might underlie the cause of the brain cell death. And in my lab, we study those mitochondrial processes. We study quality control of mitochondria, how they function, and look at that in models of Parkinson's disease, genetic models of Parkinson's disease, and environmental toxin models of Parkinson's disease. We can uh, use a special confocal microscope to look at mitochondria that we've made fluorescent so we can look at living neurons and actually look at these processes in live cells. My research focuses on the role of oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction, and then dopamine oxidation. The dopamine molecule itself, which is the neurotransmitter in these, can oxidize and form electron deficient quinones. And those quinones combine to sulfhydro groups on proteins, alter the function of proteins, and could be detrimental to the cell. So we think dopamine is a con contributing factor in addition to other things like alpha-synuclein in this particular disease. In my lab, um, we've been focusing for about the last 15 years in trying to find final common mediators of cell death. And so what we found in the lab was that there is a uh, final common mediator that is not a cell death mechanism itself, but it's a cell death enabling process itself. And that's mediated by a, um, a, a protein called an ion channel. And so if we can target those proteins without affecting the normal function of neurons, then we may have a target and we have a possible handle on blocking cell death in, in, in neurodegeneration. The investigators are working, taking a multifaceted approach to these neurodegenerative diseases. We're trying to figure out what causes the disease, what molecular targets we can go after, and how we can go after them therapeutically. So for one example, we are identifying certain genes that cause degeneration, and we're using gene therapy to go after these diseases and correct those diseases. And we hope to translate that into human clinical trials in the very near future. There are several unique aspects to the PIND. By design, it's open architecturally, so all the labs are connected to each other. That means that everyone sees each other on a daily basis, and there's just a free interchange of ideas and expertise that works beautifully. You can walk up to an investigator that's working on fruit flies or another person that's working on, on fish and say, hey, I have this idea. Uh, I think it's going to work in your particular model, can we try it? And, and that is one fantastic thing about the PIN, that you can go ahead and try those ideas. The best thing about the design of this laboratory and the open space is the training aspect. Certainly, when I was deciding of where to do my postdoc, it was the training here um, that really uh, sort of shocked and surprised me and why I ultimately decided to, to train here. The level of science is superb. Um, not only, you know, in, in terms of experimental design and the guidance um, to be a better scientist, but it was asking the right question 
and how it will affect ultimately the patients that we're trying to help is what struck me and why I decided to come here to train. And it's really pushed me to be a better scientist. When you see how neurodegenerative diseases influence people's lives and their families' lives, um, it's all the more motivation for us to get out there and work harder and figure out what is going on in these processes. We're constantly pushing the boundaries and pushing innovation forward. The research that's going on in the end is going to change the way we practice neurology. I think that we are going to have new therapies for Parkinson's disease, hopefully for Alzheimer's disease and ALS as well, for Huntington's disease, and it's going to be really fun to watch this evolve over the next few years.